Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. Today, we've actually had a lot of PlayStation 5 news when it comes to restocks and overall general news, so I figured I want to go make a video out there for all the Nintendo boys out there, because we actually have new confirmations on consoles, lots of Switch Pro news as well, just some good leaks, good information all around, very nice Nintendo news. And I'm sure a lot of you guys out there always like hearing some fun console news, especially when it's brand new consoles as well, so I figured I'd go make a nice little laid back video for all of us to kind of wind down the night. And as well, always thank you guys always for clicking on the videos themselves. If you guys like this type of news, make sure you guys are subscribed. We also are giving away a PS5 too as well. So if you guys want to be subscribed for that, you guys are very much welcome to. And we always have our little sellout links always linked down below. And hopefully, if you guys like these types of videos, always leave a comment down below as well. Because I would love to go and cover up more Nintendo news, Xbox news, PC news, etc. But for right now, we kind of still have our major focus on the PlayStation 5. Because I want to get your consoles and Xbox and all that good stuff. So we have two major things. As I mentioned, we have some good Switch Pro stuff going on, new consoles confirmed, kind of all around also very good news as well for Nintendo. So cool news. So if you guys did not actually go and see the new news when it comes to this, Nintendo themselves have actually did a press announcement today going and showing off the brand new blue Nintendo Switch. You guys can actually see a little bit of like the Nintendo profile picture or whatever on this, which is actually very, very, very cool. I love the blue aesthetic. It looks kind of very nice. And as well, especially with all these big rumors peeping on up for the Nintendo Switch Pro, which we'll get to in a few moments, seeing anything new from all of this is very, very nice. So let me know if you guys like the color, like the aesthetic or whatever. This is on the Switch Pro though, or not the Switch Pro, the Switch Lite, which is basically the Nintendo Switch, but all in one normal console that does not dock at all so it's a little bit cheaper it's only 199 dollars i'm sure you guys have seen this before if you guys want to put some amazon links for this down below if you guys would like to because things will be coming out in the very near future if you guys want the pre-orders or any other uh, the actual uh monster hunter rise switch as well so basically if you guys are kind of curious on this on may 21st the new nintendo switch light system is going to be coming on out with a brand new color this actually debated a lot of people with the nintendo switch pro news that was going on with lots of rumors so people were seeing like oh my god brand new console and then people were basically thinking hey oh my god i thought this was like the actual switch pro coming to coming out because we also i think have a nintendo direct maybe tomorrow at some point or that was earlier on today either i think it's tomorrow but let you guys know this is actually fully on out i think they already have the coral yellow gray and turquoise and now also with the blue as well one thing i would personally love is that they actually made a uh like red and white one kind of like the usual mario theme or vibe a mushroom vibe as well i'm not sure if they've done that that far so far with the nintendo light you guys can let me know and they also want to make a nice little double announcement too as well with the metopia game that's also launching on the 21st so we basically have a nice little double whammy for nintendo throwing out some brand new things and also in their official press announcement here they they also did go and mention the new Pokemon Snap game, which launches up on the Nintendo Switch family on April 30th, which I'm very, very hyped up for. I'll probably plan that up on my Twitch stream or at least have some videos on that as well up on my YouTube. So be on the lookout for that. But also very, very cool because I love playing these games when I was a kid. And also any brand new type of Switch news is always kind of good for me. But now, because this is kind of a little bit of a shorter video first for all this, I want to kind of give you guys also the rundown on all the Nintendo Switch Pro news and leaks and rumors. Because we've kind of touched on that a little bit on the channel, but not as much as I would like. So... We have lots and lots and lots of big information when it comes to Switch Pro. So we have multiple pretty much confirmations that this is pretty much coming. I'm sure you guys may be seeing some of these over here as well. But especially with the PlayStation 5 and Xbox now actually finally going and overtaking the Switch for kind of surprisingly, it's been taking that long. But with Switch also being like its fourth and almost fifth year of the cycle, it would make a lot of sense if Nintendo actually started making these Nintendo Switch Pros to basically go and compete again with the PS5s and Xboxes. So we've actually seen a a lot of new news as well that they're going to be having 4k graphics as of right now i believe it's only 1080p so it should be 4k dot as well as they also want to go and do a bunch of different upgrades as well at least from all these leaks and rumors so we've had confirmations that they want to now go improve the actual display which is also i think very good for battery life but also for resolution uh, resolution and also clarity which is always very very nice to go and see but as well there's also a lot of other things mixed on too as well so even if you have stuff over here with like the nvidia deep learning sampling stuff which basically allows a lot of these games to be upscaled to 4k and make it look a little bit nicer 
and that also in combination with the brand new Samsung LED uh, OLED, OLED <laughs> displays, which we actually do have confirmations from uh, Samsung leaks that they do have contracts with Nintendo themselves to make these. And as well, we also saw a few other things too as well also get canceled from the previous Switch, which would make sense if they're working towards a brand new Switch console as well. So both of this, we also are seeing pretty much 4K confirmed when it comes to all of this. And on top of that, too, we also have a few more other news is mixed on it as well, because I believe there's also a brand new chipsets that were also involved in the internals for the Nintendo Switch, like the new Nintendo Switch. And that also was somewhat kind of mixed on into as well when it comes to how they're basically getting rid of the outdated stuff and making brand new stuff. So even kind of good examples to over here, too, as well, is that there's even brand new code in the latest Switch firmware, which also supports a 4K Switch Pro, which you literally cannot go and have 4K on the Switch unless you have a brand new console. There's also brand new patents as well, where they might have brand new Joy-Con controllers mixed on in, like all this stuff too. We also have also more potentials. You guys can even see from like display supply chain consultants, where there's even more potential also details mixed on in. So right now we're seeing like brand new displays brand new contracts, brand new battery, brand new firmware, brand new updates, brand new patents, brand new Axel Joy-Cons. And also, we also saw a lot of those old contracts also getting canceled as well, because a lot of the old uh, actual contracts with these previous big supply chains are now working towards brand new ones, or they're working with different companies to keep on making new things. And also this for a lot of people kind of having the guesstimates because we actually have seen a lot of production for some of the internal Switch Pro things already starting as of right now. A lot of people are more so assuming maybe a 2021 release or very end, maybe 2022 early. So more so kind of think how they kind of did it with the PlayStations, announce it at some point, allow pre-orders to go on for a little while, and then ideally try to have a really big supply because they are already making them, at least based on these rumors and contracts and speculations, all this stuff mixed on in. So basically, they may want to try to go push for a like actual Christmas launch or holiday launch throughout this year, which would also make sense, too, because it kind of gives us an extra like five or six months to kind of prep up stock. And they already are also going and well selling all this stuff, especially now with the Switch selling so good and all these really, really, really big games coming on out with the Breath of the Wild 2, the new Splatoons, new Mario games, basically a lot of games that would very much benefit with good graphics, the new Pokemon game especially. It would almost make like quadruple sense to have a brand new Switch Pro with brand new graphics with 4K to keep on competing with the PS5 and Xbox and now that they're kind of getting their stock a little bit more situated and as well also be able to go and sell brand new games such as their major staple games of Pokemon, Mario, and Zelda, which we do have some confirmations because they've shown trailers and stuff like that already. And also that just means that it would work out good because it also kind of gives them a little bit more time to get prepped up for the pandemic because they've probably been dealing with it for the past few months already. So very, very good news when it comes to all of this stuff. And a lot of the speculations that people are kind of saying when it comes to the actual price, a lot of leaks and rumors are probably thinking I'm like maybe a hundred dollars more, so maybe around the four hundred dollar price point, which would make sense too, because if the Xbox Series X and PlayStation Five are five hundred dollars, it's still the slightly cheaper alternative. But also, some people are maybe saying like three forty five uh, or three forty nine to kind of have a little bit more of a cheaper thing, but also to kind of incentivize people to go and improve their consoles. And some other things kind of mixed done into as well as we kind of mentioned before with the internals. Some people have like the custom Nvidia processors which would make sense with some kind of big storage as well but also they did really want to go bump up the battery life too and that's kind of a big thing because as of right now the battery itself is around five years old and for a mobile console the bigger and better the battery that's always better overall so just we're kind of seeing lots of big leaks, lots of rumors, lots of information, a lot of stuff kind of flowing around over here too as well with these better screens. You get better, better battery life. You have a better processor. Just means the games can run at 4K. You have a bigger battery as well. It's better. You have an SSD like the 64 gigabyte SSD storage that also just makes all the games launch better download better, play better, save better. It lets you go and kind of go in and out better. And sometimes it's really nice to have it. could be able to go in and out a little bit better too as well, because that means that if you're going and walking outside and you're playing Pokemon Go, Pokemon Snap, you're bringing it to your friend's house, your cousin's house, your best friend's house, whatever it is on a road trip, it's sometimes you need to just be able to go and turn it off very instantly, especially out in public or with friends, or maybe like your, your friend talks or just something funny, you're watching a movie, whatever. Sometimes it's nice to be able to go kind of go in and out with games. So the SSD is also a very nice big improvement as well. So, 
Kind of really cool news when it comes to Nintendo with their brand new console coming on out with the new brand new blue Nintendo Switch Lite. Way more Nintendo Pro rumors as well being mixed on in, which pretty much just has it pretty much confirmed as well with all these contracts, all these updates, all these brand new improvements, all of these like secretive things that are just basically like Samsung being like, yeah, we got this. We're working on it. So letting you guys all know up on that, this is some very nice news, very nice Nintendo news, as want to kind of mix it up a little bit on this, uh, just overall YouTube, because we've done so much PlayStation 5 news today. So if you guys do like these videos, make sure you guys are subscribed, leave a like if you guys enjoyed this too as well, or be subscribed to the notifications, or just be subscribed for the PS5 giveaway. All of our little sell links are linked down below, with the Twitter and Twitch and Amazon links for the PS5s, the Weeble. Sign up for Weeble, deposit $100. You guys go get free stock and free money. Coinbase, you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go get free Bitcoin. Those are always linked down below. Go enjoy yourselves. Have a good rest of your nights and go and chill. We have more restock news all tomorrow and more PlayStation news as well. So be on the lookout for that. Love you guys all and have a good rest of your nights.